Intermittent fasting has become increasingly popular in recent years. This dietary approach, which involves alternating periods of eating and fasting, has captured the attention of many health enthusiasts and researchers alike. From celebrities to fitness gurus, everyone seems to be talking about it. Many people are curious about its effects on weight loss and overall health, especially heart health. The promise of shedding pounds while potentially improving cardiovascular health is enticing. But what does the science say about these claims? But is intermittent fasting good for your heart? Can it really help reduce the risk of heart disease? Or is it just another fad diet with more hype than substance? Or could it actually be harmful? There are concerns about the potential negative effects of fasting on heart health, especially for individuals with pre-existing conditions. It's crucial to understand both sides of the story. Let's dive into the science and separate fact from fiction. We'll look at the latest research studies, expert opinions, and real-life experiences to get a comprehensive view of intermittent fasting and its impact on heart health. This essay will explore the relationship between intermittent fasting and heart health. We'll break down complex scientific data into easy-to-understand information so you can grasp the potential benefits and risks. We'll examine the potential benefits and risks, backed by scientific research and expert opinions. From improved cholesterol levels to reduced inflammation, there are several potential heart health benefits associated with intermittent fasting. Our goal is to provide you with the knowledge to make informed decisions about your health. By understanding the science behind intermittent fasting, you can decide if it's the right approach for you. Whether you're considering it for weight loss, heart health, or overall well-being, being informed is the first step towards making the best choices for your body. Intermittent fasting isn't just about what you eat, but more importantly, when you eat. It's a pattern of eating that alternates between periods of eating and fasting. This approach can help you manage your weight and improve your metabolic health. It involves cycling between periods of eating and voluntary fasting on a regular schedule. This means you have designated times for eating and fasting, which can vary depending on the method you choose. Unlike traditional diets, it doesn't restrict specific foods. Instead, it focuses on when you should eat them. This flexibility allows you to enjoy a variety of foods without feeling deprived. There are various methods of intermittent fasting. Some popular ones include time-restricted feeding, eating within a specific window each day, for example, 16-8, fasting for 16 hours, eating within an 8-hour window. This method is popular because it's easy to incorporate into daily routines. Alternate day fasting, alternating between days of normal eating and days of complete fasting or very low calorie intake. This method can be more challenging but is effective for those who can stick to the schedule. Periodic fasting. Fasting for 24 hours, once or twice a week. This method is also known as the eat-stop-eat -eat method and can be a good way to reset your eating habits. Many people find that intermittent fasting not only helps with weight management but also boosts their energy levels and mental clarity. It can be a powerful tool for improving overall health and well-being. Remember, the key to success with intermittent fasting is consistency and finding a method that fits your lifestyle. It's not just a diet, but a sustainable way to approach eating that can lead to long-term benefits. So, if you're looking for a new way to eat that offers flexibility and potential health benefits, intermittent fasting might be worth a try. Give it a go and see how it works for you. Intermittent fasting has gained popularity due to its potential health benefits. Studies suggest that it may aid in weight loss, improve insulin sensitivity, and reduce inflammation. Some research indicates potential benefits for brain health and cellular repair. However, it's important to note that research on intermittent fasting is still ongoing. More long-term studies are needed to fully understand its effects on the body. Research on intermittent fasting's effects on heart health is promising, but not conclusive. Some studies suggest that it can improve various heart health markers. These include reducing blood pressure, improving cholesterol levels, and promoting weight loss. However, other studies show mixed results. Some research suggests that intermittent fasting may not be suitable for everyone, especially those with certain health conditions. It's crucial to consult with your doctor before starting any new dietary regimen, including intermittent fasting. Cholesterol, blood pressure, and inflammation. The fasting connection. Intermittent fasting may positively affect cholesterol levels. Some studies show that it can lower LDL or bad cholesterol and triglycerides while increasing HDL or good cholesterol. This can contribute to a healthier cardiovascular system. Additionally, intermittent fasting may help lower blood pressure. This is likely due to its effects on insulin sensitivity and weight management. Furthermore, 
Studies suggest that intermittent fasting can reduce inflammation, a key contributor to heart disease. Risks and side effects of intermittent fasting. While intermittent fasting can have potential benefits, it's essential to be aware of potential risks and side effects. Some people may experience headaches, fatigue, dizziness, or low blood sugar, especially when first starting. It's crucial to stay hydrated and listen to your body. If you experience severe or persistent side effects, discontinue fasting and consult your doctor. Pregnant or breastfeeding women, individuals with a history of eating disorders, and those with certain medical conditions should avoid intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting and heart disease prevention or risk. Can intermittent fasting help prevent heart disease? The answer is complex and depends on various factors. By promoting weight loss, improving cholesterol levels, and reducing inflammation, intermittent fasting may indirectly contribute to a lower risk of heart disease. However, it's not a magic bullet. Other lifestyle factors like regular exercise, a balanced diet, stress management, and not smoking are equally important for heart health. Furthermore, individuals with pre-existing heart conditions should consult their doctor before trying intermittent fasting, as it may pose risks. Expert opinions on intermittent fasting and heart health vary. Some healthcare professionals believe it can be a valuable tool for improving cardiovascular health, especially when combined with other healthy lifestyle changes. Others caution that more research is needed to determine its long-term effects and safety. It's essential to consult with your doctor or a registered dietitian to determine if intermittent fasting is appropriate for you based on your individual health status and goals. If you're considering trying intermittent fasting, follow these safety guidelines to ensure a safe and effective experience. Intermittent fasting can be a powerful tool for improving your health, but it's important to approach it with caution and awareness. First and foremost, consult your doctor. This is crucial, especially if you have any underlying health conditions or take medications. Your doctor can help you determine if intermittent fasting is a suitable option for you and provide personalized advice based on your medical history. Start gradually. Begin with shorter fasting periods, such as 12 hours, and gradually increase the duration as your body adjusts. This approach allows your body to adapt to the new eating pattern without causing undue stress or discomfort. Stay hydrated. Drink plenty of water and unsweetened beverages during your fasting and eating windows. Hydration is key to maintaining your energy levels and overall well-being. Herbal teas and black coffee can also be good options, but avoid sugary drinks and excessive caffeine. Listen to your body. Pay attention to how you feel during fasting. If you experience severe or persistent side effects such as dizziness, fatigue, or nausea, it's important to break your fast and seek medical advice if necessary. Your health and safety should always come first. Don't rely solely on fasting. Combine it with a healthy diet and regular exercise for optimal results. Intermittent fasting is not a magic solution. It works best when paired with nutritious meals and an active lifestyle. Focus on eating a balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains to support your overall health. Plan your meals and fasting schedule in advance. Having a clear plan can help you stay on track and make healthier choices. Additionally, ensure you get enough sleep and manage stress through activities like meditation or yoga, as these factors can significantly impact your fasting experience. Remember, intermittent fasting is a personal journey. What works for one person may not work for another. Be patient with yourself and make adjustments as needed. With the right approach, intermittent fasting can be a sustainable and rewarding practice that enhances your overall well-being. Intermittent fasting may offer potential benefits for heart health, such as improved cholesterol levels, lower blood pressure, and reduced inflammation. However, it's not a one-size-fits-all approach. It's essential to weigh the potential benefits against the risks and consider your individual health status and goals. Consulting with your doctor or a registered dietitian is crucial to determine if intermittent fasting is right for you. Intermittent fasting has become a popular trend, but it's not without its risks. Before making any significant changes to your diet, especially one as potentially impactful as intermittent fasting, talking to your doctor is crucial. They can help you understand the potential benefits and risks based on your medical history, current medications, and overall health. Remember, your health is an investment, not an expense. Make informed decisions and prioritize your well-being.